Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be making an American bald eagle. Okay, this is for Veterans Day. Now, I wish Sean was here, but he's not here, so I had to make up two hands. Okay, now when we're at school, I'll help you trace and we will fold so you only have to do one hand. But if you're at home doing this, you need to have two hands. So you might need a little bit of help tracing. So you'll trace this on the bottom of the paper. If you turn this way, you have all of this room over here. We're going to be making a bowling pin shape. Okay, let's see if, see if white shows up. Yeah, white shows up. Okay, now a bowling pin is bigger on the bottom and smaller on the top. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to flip this over and I want to turn this into tail feathers. So let's just go one, two, how about three? Okay, now you can go ahead and cut inside and in between there. Now next you're going to have to cut everything out. I'm going to give you a trick. If you're doing this by yourself and you're at home and you can only trace one hand, if you fold it in half, you can cut out two hands at one time. two hands. Now, just set those to the side, don't lose them. Let's cut this bowling pin shape out. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Going to put my feathers, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. One, two, with my thumbs pointing down. Now, right now, this is a bird without a head, okay? And we don't want that, we want the head. So, what you're going to do, put your hands to the side, don't lose them. Okay, you have a white piece of paper now, and what I want you to do, put this inside here. Leave plenty of room on both sides. Take your pencil and you're going to trace. Okay. Set this to the side by those hands. Okay. Now we want our eagle to have his head facing to the side. So this is kind of where the neck and the head starts but we want feathers to overlap, so use a zigzag line, okay? I'm going to go up, up. Now let's lightly draw a circle, okay? And I just, I just want to go like this a little bit. This isn't the beak, this is, this is where the beak is going to be glued on. This is like a little place for it to be glued on to. So next you're gonna go up and around, down, around that little glue part, down, okay? Take your scissors, cut it out. Let's take a look. Here's the body. We're going to flip this over. OK, 
Okay, let's look. There we go. Okay, let's set this all to the side. We'll still need to get your yellow paper. You know what, we're gonna do it backwards, okay? Flip that over onto the side where you can see your pencil lines. We're gonna, we'll put this to the side so we're not wasting paper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trace this part right here because I know that's where I'm going to be gluing onto. And I want you to make a big beak. Okay, you want that to go down into a point. Now, you're gonna need some claws, okay? This is easy, we're going to use an M shape. One, here's enough room up here. Two, now watch this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those are M shapes. That one's kind of ugly. I better, better fix that. Okay, take your scissors, start cutting. Get the body, get the head, okay? Needs to be glued on like this, okay? Ooh, maybe just one claw. Yeah, just one claw. Let's just do one because the two look huge. Maybe those can be like their claws are together. Okay. Okay, there's my eagle. Okay, let's take a pencil. Go ahead and make an eagle, eagle eye. Now, you'll also have a background flag. Color this and you can glue your eagle to the front of it. Okay, I can't wait to see what yours looks like and I'll see you later.